What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my player career mode. This is episode number 42 and uh, we start today's episode off with a game in the Serie A here. Uh, a way to take on Sampdoria and uh, well to be honest I've said over the past couple of episodes the start to the season with Juventus has been you know a, a mixed one really. It's it's had some really good games, we've had some really good performances but there's also been quite a bit of frustration as well but as you will see after the first five games we are top we've won four and we've drawn one as well so you'd fancy our chances coming here away from home uh, against Sampdoria but uh, the first chance of the game would fall uh, here in the 25th minute as we get the ball here and play it backwards towards Harry Martinez. Martinez finds me I go down the left hand side it's a really good chance here I whip in across but the header by Hazard is well saved by De Costa as he flies to his left and dinks it behind for a corner but we'd have to wait until the 71st minute for another chance it was from this corner it was crossed into the box by uh, De Chagill towards me it's cleared away only as far as Pogba. Pogba collects it here, gets onto his left foot, finds Harry Martinez, Martinez picks me out the far post, it's a really tight angle, I can't squeeze it in, I hit the post, and then the follow up attempt also hits the post, not sure who it was, I think it might have been Tevez, not sure, but uh, even so it hits the post, and it is still 0-0, and in the 86th minute Bonucci plays me through here, it's a great chance down the right hand side, didn't really fancy my chance, so I took the ball a bit too far wide, stopped the ball, then shot us, uh, stopped the ball with a little dummy there, played it across the face of the goal, but the shot was well saved by the goalkeeper, and it was how the game finished a nil nil draw and it was just one of those typical player career mode games really when you don't get the chances you only get one or two and if you don't take them the game's going to finish nil nil and that's exactly what happened I don't recall Sampdoria having a single shot I don't recall them even being in our penalty area for the, for the entire game all I remember was the ball just being play up, passed around the uh, the, uh, the centre circle really and the game finished nil nil so yeah it was uh, it was frustrating but um, you sort of I, I've come to expect that now do you know what I mean even though it really frustrates me and even though some days I feel like just lost my controller out the window you know I, I've come to expect now that this is what it's going to be like for the remainder of the series it doesn't matter what club I move to this will always be the case you know but uh, to be honest I, I don't mind too much because you know there are some games when it's really good fun but it is frustrating every now and then but uh, you just got to get used to it to be honest but uh, we take on Udinese for the uh, second game of today's episode of three games in today's episode and the first chance would fall here in the 12 minutes Javi Martinez collects the ball and finds Marquisio he plays it back to Javi Martinez he crosses the ball in it comes to me I head the ball but it's a good save by the goalkeeper and unfortunately Udinese do manage to clear the ball away so still scoreless but a good chance there for the opening goal again and in the 22nd minute I'm giving the ball again here I play it over the top towards the runner Paul Pogba it's a really really good chance here as Pogba collects it I'm asking for the ball in the centre but unfortunately it's cleared away by the defender just before I can head the ball into the back of the net and it's put behind for a corner and from that corner Juventus play it short like they always do it comes to Tevez it's cleared away I win the header and flick it backwards towards Pogba who shoots but his shot goes harmlessly wide and out for a goal kick so he's still scoreless but we'd have more attempts on goal in the first half an hour of this game than we had in the entire uh, game in the last game so he's still scoreless but in the 29th minute Pogba gets on the ball gives it to Tevez and Tevez gets taken down the shot is taken it's a simple save for the goalkeeper but Carlos Tevez gets an injury and unfortunately it's a really bad one as well the referee stops play and uh, yeah it's a real shame because Tevez has unfortunately broken his ankle and he will be out for three months so Tevez is down and Tevez will stay down and he'll stay out of the game for three months as well so it will take until early January for his back and that's that's a real real shame because Tevez of course is one of the best players in this team and he is my strike partner and you know although on times you know we don't work well together we have had a good start as a combination and the fact he's going to be out for three months really really does suck and you know one of the worst things about it is because Juventus don't really have another good backup striker you know so or, you know a world class striker anyway so that's a real shame but anyway in the 57th minute I took matters in, like, into my own hands here we were passing the ball around there was no real bite and as Pogba gave me the ball I turned the last man and ended up blasting the ball across the goalkeeper and into the bottom corner so Juventus won Udinese nil and it is yours truly who gets the goal it was a good finish really good finish but uh, I was annoyed how you know long it took for us to actually take a shot to be honest but uh, in the 63rd minute you see Vukinic get on the ball here off the bench. He finds Marquisio. It comes to Hazard. Hazard plays me through. Really good chance here. I stopped the ball. Then a nice little fake shot. The shot was well saved by the goalkeeper. But thankfully, Pogba is on hand to turn the rebound and make it Juventus 2. Udinese 0. So, you know, despite me not scoring a the goal there, I really should have done. At least my teammate was on hand to get the goal and follow up. So Juventus 2, Udinese 0. 
And uh, yeah, as things stand, we are surely uh, going to be getting a win in this game. And uh, in the 68th minute, you see Udinese uh, get on the board. It played the ball forward towards the run of Lopez. Lopez gets onto the ball, but thankfully it's a really good save by Buffon. And uh, Muriel can't get to it, and he managed to pass the ball away. And uh, in the 84th minute, we have a corner. It's uh, played uh, short by De Chagall to the edge of the area. It comes to Marquisio. Marquisio finds Pogba. He strikes it, but it clips the outside of the post and goes behind for a goal kick. So still Juventus 2, Udinese nil but to be honest other than that one chance they had there was Buffon saved they didn't really threaten our goal and if anyone was going to score a third goal it was probably going to be us and uh, in the 85th minute you see Muriel get on the ball he rolls it through towards uh, the Brazilian who strikes it it's a good save by Buffon and then a follow-up shot goes harmlessly wide now for a goal kick so you know they did have a couple of late chances but they just didn't look clinical and they didn't really look set in front of goal if you know what I mean so it was still 2-0 and in the 89th minute you see me reverse step over around the defender here, then give it off towards the run of Deja Gil. Deja Gil gets on the ball, he also reverse step overs for playing it back towards myself. I stopped the ball to fake Rabona, nice little reverse step over, then a heel to heel flick, then a lovely cross on my left foot, and Pogba heads it in to get his second goal of the game, and he makes it Juventus 3, Udinese 0. So a lovely couple of skill moves there down the left hand side, a great cross, and Pogba does head it in, makes it 3 0, and that was how the game would finish. So a much, 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 much better performance performance a much more inter entertaining game and yeah I mean those are the games if they happen on a regular basis I'll be very pleased with but um, I played very well in this game as well got myself a 9.5 rating obviously got a goal and an assist as well and I also did cause the second goal as well uh, in that game as my shot was parried and Pogba turning the rebound and yeah we also see as well Juventus uh, are going to be concerned because Tevez is indeed going to be out for three months with that broken ankle which is a real shame to be honest because as I said he is one of the best players in the team and he is my regular strike partner and now he's not in the team it's going to be a little bit worrying for us and as we take on Hellas Verona here you would see we don't change the formation and I'm not going to be playing up front on my own uh, of course in player career mode the AI never changed the team formation uh, I'm going to be starting up top with Vukanic who you know he's a good striker in his own right don't get me wrong but there's you know a bit of a gap between him and Tevez in terms of rating I think Vukanic is a 78 and Tevez is an 86 at the moment in this uh, player career mode so there's a bit of a gap in terms of rating and overall but even so I'd still feel as though we could win this game to be honest against Hellas Verona away from home on the back of that good free victory against Udinese and the first chance game would fall in the 7th minute here as I scoop turn into a reverse step over and play the ball forward towards the run of Marquisio he takes it around his man it's a really good chance here Vukanic in the area he picks him out but his shot is well saved by the goalkeeper and it's uh, cleared away unfortunately I think it was Vukanic took the shot and it's still nil nil and in the 16th minute you see uh, uh, Hellas Verona get onto, get onto the wood on the right hand side it's a good chance here as they uh, drill in a cross Buffon doesn't really deal with it however we did just about manage to get the ball away and it is still scored. So that was a really good chance there. And as Lich Steiner gives the ball to, uh, not sure who it was, but he plays the ball forward anyway. It's a good chance. I Ronaldo chop into a heel to heel flick, stopped the ball, then a fake shot. But <laughs> as I went to shoot, Marquisio took the ball off my toes and took a strike himself in there. So that was kind of annoying. I was shaping up to shoot there and score quite a nice goal. And Marquisio takes it off my feet and strikes it himself. It's a good save. And then his follow up shot eventually hits the post and is cleared away. So still scoreless there as Marquisio stole my limelight. And it's still nil nil. And in the 28th minute, Vukanic gets on the ball. He gives it to me. I play it back towards my new strike partner who goes through, but it's a good save by the goalkeeper. And it is unfortunately cleared away as Marquisio gives it to me, but my strike goes harmlessly wide and out for a goal kick. So still nil-nil, but we were threatening. You know, Verona didn't really seem to threaten in the first half an hour. Most of the chances came through us, and if anyone was going to score the first goal, you'd bank on it being us. And in the 30th minute from that goal kick, you see Hellas Verona get a ball away. It comes to Vukanic here. He's going through one-on-one, -on -one, and I could have asked for the, uh, for the cutback there, but I thought, do you know what? You know, you're starting in this game. You've got to prove yourself to me. You've got to show me that you can be good enough to be my strike partner. Get yourself a goal, son. Finish this chance. And he did. Really good finish into the back of the net. And he makes it 1 0. But at half time, the manager subbed him off, which was kind of surprising because he just got his first goal. He must have been feeling really confident. And then he gets taken off at half time. Quagliera comes on. And uh, from the second half kickoff, I played the ball over the top towards my uh, new strike partner, my new, new strike partner. And he shot 
was well saved by the goalkeeper and it's cleared away so it's still 1-0 and uh, in the 50th minute you see Hellas Veroni get onto the ball here down the right hand side it's a good chance they play the ball over the top towards Salah he plays the ball inside the header's well saved by Buffon but it's turned in at the far post and Hellas Veroni get themselves the equalising goal and in the 51st minute they are back on level terms and you know I'm not going to say we were underestimating them because we were playing a lot better but it's just you know the defence wasn't really doing the job and it was one apiece and in the 58th minute here you see Lich Steiner get on the ball and give it to Marquisio he gives it to me I stopped the ball to fake the ball and get to Paul Pogba. Pogba, the French midfielder, gets onto the ball here. I'm uh, trying to get myself some space here, but as Pogba plays the ball out wide towards the run of Hazard, he whips in across. I win the header, but unfortunately, it's a good save by the goalkeeper, and it is cleared away because the follow-up shot is a simple save for the keeper, and it's still one apiece. And unfortunately, I just I didn't really know what to do in this game, you know, because I'd had two different strike partners to work with, and I wasn't really feeling confident as Quagliera came on and I you know every time I got the ball at my feet I didn't really feel confident of shooting for some reason I I only felt confident when I was trying to whip the ball in because every time I got to my right foot and struck it I just didn't really make a good connection with the ball there you see there I had a really good chance but the shot it was almost like I had lead in my boots I didn't really make a good connection it was sort of just tamely went into the goalkeeper's midriff and it's still one apiece and Hellas Verona had a chance to win it in the 35th minute as they played the ball forward from right to left but Martimo's shot went wide the post and out for a goal kick and it was still one apiece and I just I didn't really know what to do because again it's one of those games where if I was going to get ourselves a goal and get Juventus a goal I'd have to be the creator and not the goal scorer but I didn't really know where my teammates were at all times and every time I tried to pick them out I couldn't do that and he see me scoop turn the ball here get onto my left foot, play the ball across the face of goal, but Pogba's shot is well saved by the goalkeeper, and that was how the game would finish, a 1-1 draw, very frustrating, and it's just one of those episodes of player career mode, I'm afraid, where, yes, we look good sometimes, but a lot of the time it's quite frustrating, but as always, guys, big thank you for watching the video, I really hope you have enjoyed it, if you have enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, and I'll see you for the next episode of my player career mode very soon.